Hi everyone. I'm very excited to be here and walk you through the journey of Zscaler Digital Experience, a new product to our Zscaler product portfolio. Before I get there, I would like to talk about why did we build uh, ZDX. Traditional monitoring tools are not designed to monitor end user experience in the work from anywhere world. Network monitoring or NPMD tools are too focused on monitoring health of your network. But in today's world where internet is the new corporate network, you do not own the network. Then there are endpoint monitoring tools which are owned by workspace or desktop teams, but they have no context of SaaS applications or the network path that users traffic is taking. As you adopt more SaaS, every vendor would give you a monitoring tool to prove their innocence. Like Microsoft would give you a Skype monitoring tool. Uh, organizations have a tool and alerts fatigue in this world. As per Gartner, 36% of organization that they polled in a conference recently, uh, they are using more than 30 monitoring tools in their corporate environment. Often, uh, infrastructure and operations leaders blame it on networking and who uh, turn blame uh, on their turn blame it on security as cause of this slowness. Getting a single pane of glass visibility for end-to-end -end user experience monitoring for every single user within your organization, no matter if they are coming from a corporate office or they're working from home or a cafe down the street, is critical in today's world. That is exactly what ZDX is built to provide. End-to-end -end visibility for every single user in an enterprise and for customers who have already deployed our Zscaler internet access and private access services with Zscaler Client Connector, which runs on about 10 million devices across the globe. It's as simple as enabling a license in the backend, setting up a few monitoring profiles, and it just starts working without disrupting your employees or taking months of planning for IT teams to roll it out. So how does ZDX solve it? End users do not complain about packet loss or DNS resolution times, but only when access to the applications they use is slow. However, it is not trivial for IT teams to determine and quantify slowness. Certain SaaS vendors like Microsoft have published their expected performance metrics, but these are hard to interpret for end users, and often it's difficult for IT teams to measure it. For example, Microsoft has published regional and location-based round-trip time metric for most of their SaaS applications. Translating that into a monitoring product takes a lot of manual configuration. Setting up alerts on predefined hard metric often leads to complex configurations and false positives for largely distributed organizations. For example, DNS resolution time which Microsoft recommends is about 25 milliseconds to 40 milliseconds for most of their application when users and applications are located in the same geo. But if that DNS resolution time is going to increase to 50 milliseconds, whether it translates into a UX issue is something that is hard to interpret. And that is the fallacy of traditional monitoring tools which rely just on the hard metric. ZDX takes a different approach to solving this problem. ZDX benchmarks user's experience in context of the business apps that you're using. It then computes a score based on this baselining, which we call as ZDX score. You can think of ZDX score like a thermometer. It tells you if you have a fever or not. If you do not have a fever or not displaying any symptoms, there is no reason to look at anything else. But if you have fever, then it provides rich telemetry to help with a detailed differential diagnosis and highlights the symptoms that are causing that problem. ZDX score is computed every five minutes for every single user in every device they are using and then rolled up for all your key applications, geolocations, as well as locations from where you are connected to our Zscaler internet access and private access offerings across the globe. With ZDX, we have instrumented Zscaler Client Connector to do deeper probing of end users' devices to look at device utilization, like CPU usage, memory usage, and very soon we are going to tell you which processes in uh, your computer are consuming most of these uh, resources. For example, is that the Outlook client or is that a, a weather widget which is consuming more memory and then you can take a preventive action. Then we look at device events like whether your device restarted recently, or it crashed, or it lost its Wi-Fi connectivity to determine how healthy is your device. Finally, we are creating an extensive device fingerprint 
that in future, we would open up with APIs to be consumed into your company's CMDB or other such databases. Next, ZDX measures the network path of every user's device all the way to the applications they are going to. Here, we look at health of their local gateway devices, like local Wi-Fi router, performance through tunnels, like IPsec, GRE to the Zscaler data centers, performance of the nodes in the Zscaler data center, as well as every single hop on the wire before traffic lands at the application front door. It not only measures common metrics like latency and packet loss, but also gives you detailed information of every single hop on the data path, including ISP and AS number information, location and geo information of every single hop, and tells you if some ISP is suboptimally routing your traffic to locations or geos where it should not be. Finally, ZDX looks at the response time of the application itself by measuring key indicators of performance such as page fetch time, server response time, DNS resolution, as well as the broader availability of the application itself. Your devices could be healthy, network could be flawless, but if app itself is down, then no one can do anything. We are working at integrating third-party feeds like Down Detector, as well as uh, trust portals of various SaaS applications like Office 365, Salesforce, to indicate when these are, apps are having an outage or performance deterioration that might uh, impact your users. When you bring device, network, and app metrics in a single place and give full end-to-end -end visibility for every single user in the company with full user and device context without installing any other agent or virtual infrastructure, then you have a true digital experience monitoring platform. Next, we would take a sneak peek into how alerting works with ZDX. Alerting with monitoring tools could be overwhelming for service desk and IT teams. That is why alerting needs to be flexible with rich criteria as well as throttling rules to minimize the noise and needs to be use case centric. You can set up your alerts based on network, applications, device categories in ZDX and then pick one of many of the available criteria such as location, AD groups, device type, etc to make alerting more effective. Additionally, you can use throttling rules such as creating alerts only when incident repeats for a few times, or at least certain number of devices are impacted. Next, you can define where does the output of alert goes. It could be an email going to the service desk with details about the incidents, or it could be using a webhook, which is an API to populate your ITSM or ITOM tools like ServiceNow. Here is an example of how alerts from ZDX would look inside a ServiceNow system. ZDX is adding the ability to do live troubleshooting of issues that are impacting end users at that very moment. For example, your help desk would have an option to initiate a remote troubleshooting session to user's device to view real-time metrics, as well as capture detailed diagnostics using built-in packet capture capabilities in Zscaler Client Connector. You can then download this report and share it with a broader team, including your ISP or MSSP, to provide further remediation. As part of ZDX, we are also going to include deeper monitoring for your Office 365 tenants. With a recent acquisition, we now have the ability to do deeper probing for your key Office 365 apps, including SharePoint, Exchange, Microsoft Teams, etc. We not only go to the front door of the application, but with an authorized service account, we can measure jitter and voice latency for your uh, teams, or file upload, download performance for your SharePoint tenant, as well as email latency for your Exchange mailbox, and a lot of similar rich metrics. As we have seen during this session, ZDX addresses the inevitable loss of visibility that organizations have been experiencing as apps move to the cloud and users work from anywhere. We have introduced a feature-rich digital experience monitoring solution that when deployed as part of a broader Zscaler platform gives you unparalleled visibility when you combine ZDX monitoring with real user logs in ZIA and ZPA. And we are just getting started with ZDX. Like ZIA and ZPA services, where we started with a focused set of use cases in the beginning, 
we are starting with a focus on end user experience monitoring. And in the foreseeable future, we are going to focus on broader range of capabilities in availability and performance monitoring area and bring best in breed partnerships as well. Thank you.